Hi, this is Preeti from Analytics India Magazine. Welcome back to another episode from Data Science as a Career. And today's video is on how to learn a programming language as fast as possible. Whether it is for the newly establishing languages like Dart or Swift or the more established ones like Python or R, the process of learning a new programming language is daunting. However, learning a programming language quickly doesn't mean that there are underlying shortcuts. You still have to practice a lot. So let's look at the step-by-step -step tips to help you overcome the learning curve of a new programming language as quickly as possible. Coming to the first step, research the important concepts. The first thing to do before learning a new programming language is to get a short introduction on it. As you will be going fast and you have no time to rethink about it, the first and the foremost thing to do is to get acclimated with what you would like to do with the language and what the programming language is capable of doing. Also, the various opportunities it produces in terms of the job scenario and the type of work you intend to do with it. Next, you have to figure out what kind of resources you are comfortable with to begin learning these concepts. Some prefer their own unique style with all the sticky notes and creating mind maps. Some prefer reading the books, some prefer learning through video and some learn from just diving right into it. So when you figure out what type of learning you are comfortable with, collect resources according to it. However, one can also learn by mixing all these resources. Coming to the next step, first the language, then comes the rest. People often make the mistake of trying to get the hang of different libraries first, but that often results in a lot of time getting wasted. First, get familiar with the language, then go for the frameworks. Coming to the next step, practice the language. When you just theoretically learn a concept, it does not get internalized in your memory. So the best way to make sure that the concept is part of your memory is by practice. This enables the essential programming concepts to get installed inside your brain for a long run. Rather than going around with each concept of the programming language and wasting time, learn the important concepts first. You can learn other things while practicing on websites such as LeetCode, HackerRank, CodeChef and CoderByte to test your concepts. Coming to the next step, use code reviewing sites. Now that you have learned some programming but you are still new to the language, you will need someone to review your code. Reviewing can mean someone suggesting you alternative ways of carrying out tasks like opening, closing and mapping in a more straightforward manner using zip or list or other suggestion to make your algorithm more efficient. There are numerous websites like Stack Exchange which offers code review on their network that is used solely to ask a review on your code. Moving on to the next step, going through codes, a lot of them. There is only one place where you should go to get the production codes for the language that you're learning and that is GitHub. Production code is a tested and stable code that has no chance of crashing and is made for real life implementation. So the more you look at these kind of codes, the more your language will get refined. Coming to the last step, building projects. What better way to learn and get some more confidence on your programming language other than building some projects? Like if one has chosen data science, try analyzing a data set, trying different algorithms. Try starting from simple projects. For example, for Python, there are basic projects like number guessing, dice rolling simulator, email slicer, etc. For SQL, start from something fun like creating a database of your friends and their details, student database management system or employee management system. For data science, movie recommendation system project, customer segmentation using machine learning and sentiment analysis model in R. Learning a programming language is not easy and it also depends on your previous knowledge. But it also varies depending upon how motivated you are and how much you practice. So in order to learn the concepts quickly, you have to plan ahead, figure out how many hours a day would you be spending on the concepts and practice every day. With that, we come to the end of this video. Don't forget to subscribe to Analytics India magazine and follow this segment for everything in the world of data science as a career. See you soon. Bye.